obviously a game where you would want your team to take little chances, but there's only one real talking point, obviously, the very end and the VAR decision. What did you make of it? My team did a fantastic match. I cannot ask more from from the players. The goalkeeper was phenomenal. Uh, I cannot ask more from my players. We kept them away from the special box and uh, we couldn't do more than what we did. I think the team played very, very well. It was a very complete a match defensively, offensively, uh, no problems defensively. We create uh, lots of chances. Uh, really, really good. I'm very, very happy with the, with the performance. But what did you make of the actual VAR decision at the end? I don't want to comment. I just don't want. OK, we're going to go to a question from Paul Gilmore. Paul. Jose, you, you don't want the comment for fair of a fine, perhaps, but but what's your message today to the football lawmakers, IFAB, around the handball rule? I don't have a message. I don't have a message. Roy Hodgson said yesterday it, it's the, the rule is ruining football. Do, do you think it enhances the viewing experience or takes away from it? Uh, Mr. Roy is all, uh, is all box. is uh, the man with more experience is the man with with uh, the age is the man that is in the Premier League. I, I always consider the eldest one the boss. He has the status. He has the know-how. Is respected by by everyone. I live on him. Okay, I'm going to go to Matt Dunn. Matt, if you can unmute for me, please. Uh, yeah, hi, Jose. Um, with handballs being given that easily, do you fear that's going to become a tactic for football, just booting the ball into the box and hoping that the ball hits an arm? Uh, easily for some. Do you think that's a shame when you've played great football for 80, 90 minutes and been equalised by somebody who's been so direct like that? You don't want me to criticize Newcastle, don't you? I'm talking Newcastle. about generally in the game. I, I only, the only thing I can say is that we played very well. Played very well. That's the only thing that I can, that I can, I can say. We played very well. Okay, I'm going to go to Dan Kilpatrick. Dan, I'm going to take one more after Dan, and then we're going to move on to a, a Chelsea preview. Okay, so Dan, do you want to? Joe, does it look like you're? goalkeeping coach Nuno Santos might have got a red card after the final whistle. Um, it was a bit confusing. Can you shed any light on, on what happened there at all? The only thing that I know is that I'm more experienced than him and I left the tunnel when the referee blew the whistle uh, for the last uh, for the last time. Uh, I know that uh, in some matches with some clubs, even after the last whistle, it's possible to happen something important, but with us, I knew that after the last whistle, the game was was over. So I was doing nothing there, and I left to the to the dressing room. So Nuno, a little bit more naive than me, and he stayed there. Okay, I'm going to finish this part with thank you. Uh, sorry, Alistair, and then if there are any Chelsea questions, we'll move on to that, and that will be embargoed till tomorrow afternoon. Ali. Hi there, Jose. I just wanted to ask you about um, Son. You took him off at half time. Was that a pre planned thing or was it an injury? Injured. Do you, do you expect to miss him for long? Yeah. Can, can you say what kind of injury? Hamstring. Hamstring. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Okay. Thank you. Are there any Chelsea questions? We're moving on to Chelsea now. If someone would like to raise their hand for the League Cup game. If there are none, then we will leave. Okay. Dan, 